Hello everybody, once again it's time for another Tech Lab Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about uh, our multi-angle uh, uh, seat cutter blades, our new uh, Sabertooth series that we've just recently introduced. The Sabertooth series of carbide cutter on these multi-angle blades is of a higher grade quality of carbide. Uh, this is the new cat's meow that's out there, <laughs> literally the cat's meow, hence the reason we named it the saber tooth. But this alloy here is, does an incredible job. Uh, we've done testing. Uh, we're seeing about a 25 to 30% increase in life. We're also able to uh, uh, do deal, deal with those uh, different alloys that all these valve seat uh, manufacturers are coming out with in these applications, not only for street and performance, but uh, let's face it, there's a lot of diesel out there, a lot of medium uh, uh, duty diesel and pickup trucks from one ton and down. Uh, a lot of your lighter motorhomes are having diesel applications. A lot of generators are now of a diesel uh, power source in that regard. And, and those require different alloys in the valve seats. And there's nothing wrong with the cutters we've been selling for years and years and years. They're very high quality carbide. But we said, is there something better out there? And by gosh, uh, this little saber tooth guy uh, is the answer uh, to that. So I wanted to kind of give you a demonstration uh, here today uh, to kind of cut with an original uh, carbide cutter of the same part number on an intake seat right here on this aluminum go fast cylinder head and then I'll set up again over here on this other uh, intake uh, valve seat with the saber tooth and that way you'll be able to hear and hopefully visualize uh, the difference before I got started good machinist that I am I always double check to make sure that my machine is level I might get some level right here sitting inside of that valve guide and I've already pre-leveled this machine left to right and of course front to back. Uh, that also brings me to the fact that now I have to level my workpiece to this machine because keep in mind that uh, the level itself has to be level and then you level the machine to that level and then everything that goes into the machine uses the same level to level that workpiece and sync everything up top to bottom, left to right, front to back, in a single uh, leveling uh, 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 effort and result, because that's critical with seat and guide work. As you know, this is a PH2000, the machine's probably at least 35 years old, but it's got good structural integrity, uh, very little run out in this quill. This machine, uh, I picked it up used, and uh, we use it for our own technical uh, discoveries uh, to, to prove uh, if, a, if a tool is working, yes or no. It allows me to have a little bit of a machine shop up here, especially when I'm doing these videos for you guys out there. So again, I've got my unit level. I've already used my MGA MIC micrometer to go ahead and set diameter on this cutter. And you, you, this is a great tool. You've already seen a video on that, but you can eyeball this as well. And I know a lot of you guys that uh, do eyeball, but these are on the shelf, the MGA MIC, and it's a precision a micrometer that goes from uh, uh, just under an inch to right at three inches. It's set all your uh, different uh, diameters for seat cutting or even a counterboard cutting in that regard. So I'll get that set back down underneath here. See, I've got my ball head here. This is a number three Morris taper drive. So I use a, a number three Morris taper ball head drive to uh, engage the uh, one inch perfect sphere on the top of our, our ball head here. I've got my pilot installed and I'm a bounce spring guy. I like having bounce springs in the equation all the way around. I've got this on the number two speed, so I'm going to be running this at about 115 RPMs. Generally, with a regular carbide cutter, we can go anywhere from uh, 70 to 115. And so I want to run both of these cutters at the same RPM, so I'm going to go ahead and utilize that 115 uh, RPM. Also, we're going to be going in a counter, counter, uh, uh, excuse me, a clockwise uh, rotation, not a counterclockwise, but a clockwise uh, rotation to cut these cutters. Uh, we mostly do this dry uh, because we don't want the uh, uh, lubrications to attract chips and get in the way or, or cause an imperfection. So everything is, is bone dry all, all the way through. So let me get this level uh, out of the way. And the first carbide we, we've got coming up here is our, uh, it's our infinite flow tip, an IFT 4539BHP. One of the more popular tips. Uh, this is also in that 
three pack performance pack that Mr. Joe Mondello himself uh, helped us develop, oh goodness gracious, uh, uh, many years ago. He flow tested everything on his uh, flow equipment uh, at the Mondello uh, Technical School and provided us with quite a, an array of creative uh, flowing tips and infinite flow tip is what the IFT uh, abbreviation there at the front uh, stands for. This is standard carbide and we're gonna run it first and we'll bring in the new saber tooth uh, a cutting a tip for you on that. So pretty lined up here. As you can see, I've, I've already done some pre-work in this regard. Get my machine turned on here at the 115 RPM. That's in position number two. And I should be able just to come right on down. And as you can see, I'm already machining that seat. A little bit of chatter going on. This is a hard alloy material here, but it only did it at the end. So again, we've got that off. Turn this back. Unlock my head. I'll go ahead and move him out of the way, and you should be able to get in there and see that we've done a pretty good uh, job of uh, getting that seat cleaned up all the way through with just a standard uh, carbide blade. So hang on a minute. I'm going to change this blade out. And uh, and I'll come over here to this intake and I'll cut it next. Okay, well now I've already changed out this cutter tip. This is the new saber tooth cutter. I moved over to this other uh, intake uh, valve seat over here. I do have to reposition my cradle. I've got to get my head back over here the way it should be. I like to put a little pressure on that as first let off on my air float and then come back sure to make sure I have an uninterrupted or a non-binding situation. Yes, this is a bowl head and yes, that can be considered a U-joint, but again, we want to be as perfectly lined up on that as possible because we don't want this drill head up here to be influencing this ball head, which will then influence that valve seat cutter blade. So everything needs to be leveled and then everything needs to be as lined up as uh, absolutely uh, true as possible. But let's go ahead and let's cut this valve seat now. Get on that 115 RPMs. You notice we're not getting any chatter like we had on that other one. So again, I think that shows the integrity of this new uh, style uh, saber tooth uh, cutter tip. And uh, oh yeah, I've got to do. Okay, well here's a little better close up uh, a comparison of these valve seats. As you can see, I've got some chatter. I've got that little bit of chatter. You heard that in the video too when I was cutting this seat with a standard carbide. Again, this is a hard alloy valve seat. This is one of those multi-alloy alloy valve seats. And of course it's in this all aluminum uh, AFR cylinder head. So, uh, you know, it, it's gonna be harder. It's not your standard cast iron Chevy and Ford valve seat at all. But if you look over here where I was cutting with the saber tooth, notice there's no chatter at all. This is a beautifully cut seat all the way around. I got some light refraction going on there just because it's very difficult to shoot uh, shiny things uh, with uh, light and not have any uh, reflection or refraction of that going on. But uh, uh, the standard duty carbide uh, did a good job, got the angle set, but you can see I had a little chatter in the equation there. Back over here with the saber tooth, no chatter, got right through that hat that harder alloy and that's the performance and that's the long life and that's the results you're going to do with the new saber tooth series of 3d uh, fast cut multi-angle seat cutting blades from goods and tools and supplies uh, know that we've got the new cutter tips the the saber tooth um, uh, tip and uh, uh, they're on the shelf right now uh, we're out here in the marketplace with it. We're listening to you. We're trying to deliver a new and innovative and better product to you. Not once in a while, but all the time. So I want to thank you for viewing today. If you want to call us on the phone, you can 1-800-533-8010 or catch us on the web at goodson.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.